It's $10 DIY Wednesday, favorite day of the week. Love it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Today we're going to do a little bit more of a messy DIY. Uh, it does involve a few different things, so we're going to go over that quick. You're going to need, and this is weird, um, but Clorox bleach gel, ideally the one for the toilet because it has this cool little spout on it, so it makes the process a lot easier. You're also going to need a t-shirt. Um, I have found that medium to dark color t-shirts work the best. We're going to try a little bit of a light t-shirt today. That's totally fine. Um, also rubber gloves because this is a mess. <laughs> so we're going to want rubber gloves and we're going to want a lot of rubber bands as well and water. Water is a key to this thing. Uh, we also have these bins because we're going to be using water and liquids and we just don't want to get them all over the place. Um, so we're doing some tie dye, but there's a few different ways to do tie dye. The examples that I have here on the table are more of a terrazzo tie dye. And I'm just going to use Emily's shirt quick. Okay. I can show you how to get the terrazzo look, which is basically you bunch it. You're just bunching the shirt. There's not um, a lot of rubber banding involved. It's mostly just bunching it. And then you just put the liquid on it. However, if you wanted to do a more traditional tie dye, you would take parts of the shirt and then you would just do this. So you can really go either way, whichever way you want to go. I'm going to let each of you guys decide. I like the spiral. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Do the spiral. And then we'll kind of rubber band sections. That'll help it to stick together. Now the spiral does create a little bit of a, it's kind of a in between a terrazzo look, but also a traditional, so you get both. So yeah, whatever you guys want to do. This definitely brings me back to summer camp. I know, me too. And like having the different colors and rubber banding them up. Like I remember third grade specifically, we did this and it was like a scientific experiment almost. Nice. And we did the, the trazzo. Yeah, terrazzo. Terrazzo and the spiral. <clears throat> and I'm going to um, put some gloves on too because this is a big fat mess. Don't burn yourself. But it's fairly, fairly cheap to do. You can, uh, this week, and you'd have to check on the ads for future weeks, but if this week you can get t-shirts at Hobby Lobby for $2.99. What? Yes. What a steal. I know. Right? And they also have a really good line of very, very comfortable flattering t-shirts too that are cute. They're a little more expensive, but they're nice, especially if you get them on sale. Um, so $2.99 for that. The gloves were a dollar. The rubber bands were a dollar. Each of these was probably $3. So it's not an expensive craft, but it's a really fun thing to do. But if you're doing it with kids, do it in a bathtub. Uh. Because... <laughs> and that's what this mimics. This mimics the bathtub yes. so that you can put your ingredients in yes. there. Yes. Now there are different kinds of bleach. The kind that we're using today has a blue hue to it. So actually the tie dye may come out with a little bit of a blue tint as well. So you're getting the white from the bleach, but also the blue. I like it because it's kind of a double effect, which is pretty cool. Two colors for All one. Right. Yeah. So go ahead. Is that, uh, are you good with that? Do you want to yep. go with those? Okay, perfect. Yeah. Do one spiral and two bands. One spiral and two bands. Sounds good. So Coming then we're right going to put it in the tub. I like to section it off because then you can pick and choose where you want to add the bleach. Yes. And also create your own design. Mm -hmm. This is DIY. Do it yourself. <laughs> so because your shirt's a little bit lighter, we want to use less bleach because that way it'll show up more. So you're going to want to put it on targeted areas. For instance, because we've got rubber bands in here, we're going to want to put it right around where the rubber band is. or you can even splatter it if you want to or go right around where the circle is. If awesome. The more you splatter, the more of a separated terrazzo look. It's going to be kind of like oh, these okay. ones. Nice. All right. So I'm going to yeah. start over here. So you can even just be like, Mah. like you can just go wild, do whatever you want to <laughs> do. Here. Maybe a line. We're sectioning. Yes, we're just, we're going to have a ball here with our shirts today. So then the next thing that we do, once we get our bleach on exactly where we like it, is we're going to pour the water on it because the water helps push the bleach in. So let's let the bleach sit for maybe 30 seconds. Then we're going to put water in because then we want to really kind of set it. And looking ahead, just so that we can um, kind of talk about what's going to happen after this while you're bleaching, is then you're going to want to let it sit for maybe 20 minutes or so. You'll be able to see the bleach yes. start setting in in probably a minute or two. Yeah. But you're going to want to let it sit about 20 minutes because once you put it in the washer, that's when it stops the process. Okay. So then once this is all bleached, and we're actually going to take them home, throw them in your washer, then you're good to go. You can throw them in with detergent, totally fine. Don't put other clothes in there. No, Just the bleached not. clothes. It's 
going to be a rough day for your clothes if you put other ones right. in. So. so now it's time to splash. <laughs> so is there like a technique? Is this okay like That there? just helps it get in there. So it's probably going to have a little bit of a Kim? like tie-dye, but also kind of a watercolor. Oh, I see it. it. Mine, yeah. because mine is blue, yeah. it, you can sort of see that it's going to be like a, a turquoise mm -hmm. with the light baby blue. And sometimes with white rings. So you can see... With this one, for instance, actually the back's a little bit easier to see. We did um, kind of the terrazzo effect to it, so we crumpled it up. And so it's got the white, but it's also got the outline of blue. And blue was not in the original shirt. This was a green shirt. So it's kind of cool how it, it puts them together. It's like a water effect. Yeah, the active agents yeah. in the bleach mm -hmm. and the water really sits into yeah. the pigments of the fabric and elongates the beautiful patterns. So when I do this with my kids, I typically, I will get them to the point where we've rubber banded everything and at that point I'm like, okay, now you need to step back and watch because <laughs> with the bleach and the it's just, it's a lot. It is. So for kids, maybe don't have them over involved, especially the younger they are because it's kind of dangerous, especially with bleach. Um, but we love to do this. We do this probably every summer just to have like a new set of matching tie-dye t-shirts. Yes. This year we went with the green. So our whole family has the green matching tie-dye t-shirts. Oh. I love it. I'm looking at yeah. mine. I just can't wait for you guys to yeah, see. Cool? I know, it's going to be so It's going to be so amazing. Yay. Yes, it is. We are super excited about that. Uh, but you know what else we're excited about? Ice cream. I love ice cream. Yes. So coming up next, we'll be diving into summer with the salt and straws of ice cream flavors here on North Dakota Today.